on Twitch. If you don't know, just follow Charlie at Charlie Haruno. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was Charlie Haruno. I don't know if that's he changed his Twitch or not. That's the problem. Oh, his Twitch. Yeah. I, I know it's Twitter. I, I think it's Cereza. Yeah, Cereza. Yeah. So yeah, follow Charlie on his Twitch. Uh, he definitely talks about his thought process on matchups there. I uh, definitely talked about how he feels like Larry messed up on a few yep. things. Nonetheless, Charlie will take the W, especially on a regional. And I'll definitely put points for Charlie on the PR in this coming season. Yeah, and I like how when Charlie also posts clips, he he also posts how he, he could have done some of the be best clips on like, Twitter. Like, he does. like they could like look like the cleanest clips ever, mm -hmm. but Charlie always posts something that he could have done better in that clip. Yeah, I love that. He also he does wild review as soon as as the tournament is done. Not only that, he always likes to come up with new concepts. Yeah. Even if they're not complete, he's like, I'm going to save this concept for another opportunity. Maybe I'll find a way to complete it later. Yeah, uh, and he's doing really well implementing it so far in these games. Yeah, uh, Charlie's punish game as a Wolfman is unprecedented, honestly. But we'll talk about punish games later here. Larry, definitely a player with such great neutral. We'll see how he can do here against Keith. Yeah, one of the best movements with Snake as well, as I mentioned uh, way earlier in this, uh, <laughs> in this tournament. Wonder how he's gonna uh, approach this matchup against uh, Wolf, especially Larry's Wolf, who's very rushdown centric. I mean, kind of fits Larry in the playstyle, right? Being a former Fox main, Larry has talked about how he still keeps Fox and Falco in the pockets, but he knows Wolf has to be more front and center alongside Palutena, which we did see this past weekend. Yeah, and does does look like he's dominating this uh, first stock at the moment, but he's still not able to take Snake stock. All right, sneaking in, trying to get that back air there. Ooh, try to catch a jump as well if you try to jump grenade. I like how Larry is now playing patient, just trying to make sure he's not getting extra damage from all these explosives. It does catch him on the high recovery with the back air there. Yeah, of course, uh, Wolf does have that damage enough to actually knock Snake out of the sniper. Sniper. <laughs> sniper. <laughs> sniper the red dragon. Oh. Sniper the sky dragon. The sky sniper dragon, no sniping. <laughs> Swiper no swiping, come on. Larry definitely swiping the stock right now though. Oh, All this percentage man, that though. Is such a swipe. I love the shortened uh, wolf flash as well, just in case he decided to get up a little bit earlier. Gets him with the second hit of four tilt there. Solid edge guard option from the, there from Key. I like how he went for the up smash. He knows if Larry wants to pick an option, he's got to challenge up smash first, especially if he goes for a jump on the ledge. I like how he's trying to force Larry Alert to stop approaching him with these C4s that he's throwing on top of his head. And Larry has to land back on the stage or a little bit away from the C4. And oh. not able to get the Stairmaster instead gets hit with the claws. Yeah, unfortunately. Good play from Key, though. He knows, you know what, I have this opportunity. Stairmaster might be the move, but unfortunately he misses it. Key back off stage. Oh, Whoa. down there. Not, not just the Cypher, the stock as well. It's the way that Larry kind of was able to move around Key. Key a little bit frustrated in that situation, not happy how that played. The one thing that I do like Key, that Key was doing there, he knows where to keep the C4 and where not to keep it on opportunities, but he also knows how to make the plays from the ledge. Yeah. We saw that attempt there, missing the Stairmaster so close, but just not enough just yet. I think Key was working on a lot of good things against Larry that last game. Now it's we we'll see what he, how he can put it as a whole game too. Yeah, and Larry just had the had the better movement in that game one. Yeah. So this game two, he switches to Terry here, gets the auto adjust, does get the go at 100%, but he's also got to worry, uh, worry this, about... See, this is the thing I like about Key. I want him to go back to these Colonel Circle characters, the Shotos and all of them, because yeah. that's kind of in his roots. And I feel like, look at already, 20% on the Key. Gets the jab, jab power to Baby yeah. Locust for such a great combo. He, he's been he's been talking uh, on his Twitter about how much he's missed uh, Terry and the Shotos. He's been showing how strong he can be with them as well. Yeah. But against a versatile character such as Wolf, do you think that his Terry can pull it out? Yeah, I, I most definitely have no doubt in Key's abilities to do this with Terry. There's a reason why Key was so feared way back in Smash when it comes down to his ability to understand how these characters work. Oh, such a tough trade there. Only Wolf winning on that one. 94%, man. Gold meter is pretty much active. Very nice SDI, too. Mm -hmm. All right, trying to get the back air on Larry Lurch jump there. Not going to give it to him. It does get him with the burning knuckle. I love it. He waits for that second jump on the landing there to punish him with burn knuckle. Crack shoot back off stage. Not what he wanted. Power oh. dunk is going to oh, kill him. I thought that was going to snap the ledge, but I guess. Power dunk was... never snaps. That's, yeah, that's the first time I've heard of it. And the first time I've seen it, but you know what? He will definitely keep himself a little bit more composed. There's even stocks for a reason. Well, it doesn't snap when the hitbox is out. Power okay. dunk's hitbox was out at that moment. Okay, gotcha. 
All right, gets him with the forward air up tilt. Very nice bread and butter for Layla here. And gets the double jump neutral air. Not able to follow up with a power wave anyway. Ooh, not even able to get down to rising tackle either. Oh, very strong down smash as well. I like the invincible rising tackle Ooh. as well. Just invincibles right through the F tilt. He's watching out here. Oh, I love the call out, dude. He has to go now. Mm -hmm. Time he to knew, go. He knew Larry was going to have a return to the scene of the crime, and that's the ledge. Because Larry does not want to get juggled here. I was smashing not enough to do it. Terry's got some weight to him. All right. Looks like he's looking forward to the jab, jab, power oh, dunk. Missed it. Nope. Ooh, back air for back air. Not going to be a favorable trade for Key here. I like that he was trying to come back to the ledges here, but at that opportunity, I would have preferred Key go to the right ledge rather than the left. All right, power dunk, going to get SDI out of it. Larry doing really well at coming out of the power dunks after getting hit by the first one. It's not over for Key oh, just please. yet. He's got the power dunk and the corner carry indeed. Still able to survive. Will he use crack shoot? Goes for that directional air dodge for the comeback. This is such a big play from Key. Already to 86 and the corner carry. Missed back air. Very reminiscent of his Ryu back in the day. Gets the nair nair into burning knuckle for good damage. He has to go and mm. he's not able to parry the back air. Yeah, it looks like he wanted to shield or parry it. And he had the opportunity. I feel, looking, at, looking at Key's face here, I think he's talking about Larry. There was something that he missed there, but he's also asking Larry, you know,